Okay. Right click on the bookshelf. It's a book. Whoa! <laughs> Hello, everybody, and I'm here today with Dire Wolf 20. Hello, everyone. Yeah, so we're going to be doing this really cool uh, little series. It's like a little mini series, and basically, you guys probably know if you don't, uh, I'm about to tell you something that's going to blow your mind. I kind of suck with uh, really tinkering kind of mods, the mods that like, you know, uh, always require like redstone and lots of thinking and advanced machinery. And I wanted to learn how to do it because I'm actually working on my own mod pack and I was, you know, thinking, well, you know, some of these mods are really cool and I shouldn't pass them up just because I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm here with Direwolf, which I'm sure you guys know is like the guru of like Thomcraft and all that stuff. Oh, so, I whoa! <laughs> you see, I'm glad I backed away. <laughs> I, I know that I knew what that sword did, so that's that's one thing. I knew that was the gust sword, or whatever it's called. And that's like, oh man, I like lit a romantic candle to celebrate this situation. <laughs> Yeah, so for my viewers, Caveman approached me and he's like, Hey man, can you help me out with learning some of the mods? How do you think we should go about this? And I said, Well, I know you're working on your own mod pack. Yeah. How about we do like a series where like every episode we'll like pick a mod and do like a little bit of a tutorial slash introduction, like not like full blown crazy detail, but just like here's what the mod's about. And then what you're gonna do is make a decision on what you see and decide if you wanna have that mod in your pack, right? Yeah. Nice. And also, if you guys want it, just tell me in the description or whatever. Not the description. I always say description sometimes. I'm crazy. Do you, like, open that up so your viewers can edit the description of your videos? Yeah, man. I'm just that like, would be a really good idea. Yeah, I mean, no one no would one definitely... Would. Yeah, like, <laughs> definitely people wouldn't write, like, really rude things in it. <laughs> yeah, that would probably be the worst idea ever. <laughs> Wait, watch. I'm like, Jack. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Oh! oh. Yeah, Jack just jumped over that candlestick. Anyway, um... I guess we should like start with um, what Thalmcraft's really about, if you could tell us. Sure. So Thalmcraft is a magic-based mod. Uh, there's lots of different types of mods. Some of them are tech-based, some of them are magic-based, some are more adventure-based. So this one's like a magical slash a little bit technical uh, style mod where it's about all the magic in the environment around you. Um, the main concept is that there's these aura nodes that um, contain some magical energy and you can tap into those nodes and use the magical energy in them to power machines, magical constructs, golems to do work for you, and uh, different tools and items. Okay, that sounds yeah. pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. I swear- Plus it has really cool particle effects. It's shiny. Oh, I like shiny. Shiny is a good thing. <laughs> I could have swore I saw something glowy and- Oh, there is. It, it was like, it, it, was, it was glowy and movie. It was like moving around. Aren't you there wisps? Are there wisps in this particular mod? There are. I hate wisps. I hate them so bad. <laughs> They're not common except in magical style biomes. You'll oh. find them in the nether a lot too. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. That doesn't so, sound that bad. Do you want to see how to get started? Yes. All right. Definitely. What you're going to need to do to get started okay. is make a magic wand. Ooh, thank you. And it's real easy. It's just a piece of wood and some iron. Uh, and that's the most basic magic wand. What's this in the left corner? That is the magical energy stored in the wand. So in fact, why don't I let you toss that back to me and we'll go ahead and make our a nice, fresh, empty wand. Does that okay. sound cool? Sure thing, boss. <laughs> right. Get uh, some iron nuggets. I'll give you some. Yeah, like you have the power of god mode. I'm just kind of like in survival over here. Ooh. 64 stacks of nuggets. Cool. Um, and a stick. And go ahead and put them in the crafting table. Let's figure out how And make like a helmet shape. Like you would make an iron helmet, okay. but instead make it with the nuggets. Iron cap. Got it. And let me put the cap yep. on top of the stick. Nothing's you need happening. two of them. Oh, I do. Okay. Yep. Okay. So. Okay, make another little helmet. And boom. And stick in the middle and cap in the top right and bottom left. Or the top left and bottom right. Maybe. I there just did it. Yeah. So that wand is empty. It doesn't have any magical energy in it. I see that, and I'm kind of, like, bummed out because the other one was colorful. This one's yeah. not. I don't like the no color. Don't worry. I'll show you how to get started. <laughs> awesome. So the thermometer is what you want to make next. That's, That's clever. Thing. That's a clever thing. 
Thermometer. Ooh. So that? Oh! Ha! Or a node. Yeah. So don't worry, you'll eventually get an item. And don't mine it, because you'll break it. Oh. It lets me know that you're called Direwolf20 if I look through this. It does. It lets me know that you're named Caveman Films. Ooh. Okay, so now that I have the Thermometer, um... What do I do? So, aim it at the aura node and hold right click. Oh, I'm doing it. Yep. So what happens is, in Thaumcraft, everything in the world is made up of some base components called aspects. And by using the thermometer, you can scan items and blocks, discover what aspects they're made out of, and then you use that scanned information to do research with. Okay. So, like, if you scan grass, you'll probably get a message on the bottom right saying that you don't understand this. Oh, yeah, I don't have all the knowledge required to understand. I can't understand grass? Am I that oh. stupid? About... Oh, you I do... Be able to scan cobblestone, though. I do know how to do stone. I have yep. discovered saxum. Yep. Which is the element of stone. And, and per... then perdito, which is um, chaos. So we're on the latest version of Thaumcraft, right? We are on the latest and greatest. Ooh, dirt. I can understand dirt. Yeah. No, I can't. No. I'm going to go drown myself now because I feel really ashamed of what I can and cannot learn. I can't understand dirt. I am lower than dirt. You might be able to scan water. Water. It's wet. Yes, I can, in fact, tell you that water is, in fact, wet. So nice. Sand is terra. I would think dirt is terra, but whatever. Okay. You know what? Yep. So that, now that I know what sand is and what normal is and what a stone is, um, what can I do with that power? Whoa! So with that, you're going to want to come over here to the research table. I can write the Declaration of Independence. Okay, four score and... Wait, no, that's wrong. So grab your Thaumonomicon. Thaumonomicon, okay. Yep. And you oh. see how there's some things that are, like, flashing? Yeah, I clicked it and... Click one. Yep. Now it should give you a research. It's down there. Oh. Ooh. I pressed a button. So you're doing research, I guess. I, I guess so. Yeah. Like, I, I clicked on the shiny, and then, wait, oh. I just learned, I learned how to make Saxum or something. Potentia. Cool. Oh, mm. Potentia, yes. So, two aspects can be combined to form another aspect. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured that out by accident. Yep. You did. Um, so, I can't see what you're seeing right now, so I'm not going to be able to really give you a good tutorial on the research system, but this is basically a mini game. Uh -huh. that you're going to play to unlock that research that you have in your Thaumonomicon. And then it's going to advance you through Thaumcraft to get you to, you know, more and more cool items and toys and different stuff you can make. So once you finish that aspect research, uh -huh. you can then do, like, crafting and stuff. Let's click everything until there's nothing left. Oh, book, book, come back. Okay. <laughs> so now that I've researched that... Um... Oh, basic information is shinier now. Why is it shiny? Aspects of magic. There are two main types of aspects. Primal and compound. Air. Ha! Spelled wrong. Terra, Earth, <laughs> Ignis, Aqua, Ordo, and Perdito. Entropy. Isn't that like when you get really sick and your skin turns yellow and then you have to go to the hospital and they're like, I'm sorry, you have a few weeks to live. And you're like, no. I don't think so. Which one? Entropy. Entropy? No. Yeah. Oh, I put on the glasses you handed. Oh, now it's there. Okay. Yep. So these are the... Oh, dude, these are pretty cool looking. They are, right? I feel like I'm from the steampunk. Steampunk caveman. So now you've got your wand, right? Yes. Right click on the aura node and hold it. Right click. Oh, am I sucking it in? Yeah. So what you'll find throughout the world are a bunch of randomly generated aura nodes. Dude. And depending on what aspects are inside them, and you can tell by scanning it or just looking at it, and you'll see the aspects pop up over top. This thing looks cool. It's yeah, it's black. got uh, Perdito and Air. So these are naturally generated. You can't place them down like I am unless you're cheating. <laughs> like I am. <laughs> so you're basically going to be, uh, you know, scanning these things for research points and then, you know, pulling the energy into your wand to fuel your magical work. And they'll regenerate over time. Oh, will they? Yeah. One little tip, though. If you drain it completely of the aspect type, it might not regenerate that one. Ah, okay. So always try and leave one. And then um, there's a research you can do later that'll, like, by default leave one in for you. I like hitting him because sparklies come out. They'll eventually break if you keep mining them. 
Well, I, I was just repeatedly clicking it, so I wasn't actually mining it. Go for it. Give it a try. The sparkly is every... Oh! Hey, cool. Yeah. Ethereal. 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 Yeah, that's it. Ethereal essence. So this is uh, the, the crafting table. Some of the items that you're going to make in this mod are made in this bench. And basically the way it works is um, you need to combine a crafting recipe just like you would with... Um, you know what you've got mm -hmm. and you have to put your wand in the slot there and it'll drain some of that energy out of the wand to do the crafting oh okay so for example um you just got a couple of those um air shards yeah air essence things mm -hmm. so put it in there next to the two air shards i just placed in okay i don't think i did oh, it right one. okay yeah, let's see that that should work i don't think it is Oh, wait, I'm sorry. It's two of them and one air shard. All right, so put two in. Oh, there we go. Okay. So see how it's highlighting around? That's the cost of the recipe. And when you craft it, it'll draw that number of items out of the wands. Salus Mundus. Yeah. What is this? It's a crafting component for more advanced stuff. Okay, so you have to craft and make crafting stuff for crafting. Yep. That sounds kind of complicated. <laughs> of course it is. It's magic. Magic's not complicated. It's just like clicking your heels together and things happen after you wish happy thoughts so how about i show you some of the cool toys you'll be able to get once you yes done. please oh, give me the cool toys all right how about this and okay. i'll give you the so that is a wand and those are wand um focuses yes i can read <laughs> okay so how do hold i do the f key on your keyboard with your wand in your hand Ooh. okay i will choose excavation whoa I like this. I like this spell. It's cool, right? It's got a decent range too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna excavate this tree. It's not It'll working. Work. It's not working. It'll work. Oh, oh, stop. there we go. Okay, I will try the blue one. Portable hole. Whoa. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to fall down there, do I? No, probably not. Ha! I will make it to the other side. I don't think you will. <laughs> No! Ah! Oh, 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 goodness. Okay. I'm getting out of here. Let's run. <laughs> so, so that lets you go through things. Yep. And also causes gigantic amounts of lag. Apparently, it just lets you burn stuff. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. I'm a flamethrower. <laughs> oh, my fire doesn't burn trees. No, unfortunately not. Or the wildlife. It just burns people in wool. Every time I select equal trade, it gives me the fire. Uh, try not to click on it. There you go. You got it. Okay. So uh, here, come grab this dirt. Okay. And with the wand of equal trade, shift right click on the dirt block. Okay. And see how there's a dirt block in the top left now? Uh, yeah. Now just like right click on one of the cobblestones. Whoa! Yeah, that's cool. It's like world edit in your hand. Yeah. Except shinier. Yep, and it uses the dirt from your inventory. Here's a pretty cool block. What block? It's a chest. It's a hungry chest. Drop an item on top of it. Um, okay. Have some dirt. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little fatty, aren't you? And then there's an upgrade to that. How do I uh, travel? Oh, it's got eyes. Yeah. Does it follow me? Yeah, well. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Back away! <laughs> it won't hurt you, don't worry. <laughs> That's cool. This is cool. Yeah. And there's upgrades you can give them too to like make them attack enemies and do a couple other neat things. I'm 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 liking Thumbcraft a little bit. It's fun. I'm warning you. Put on these awesome boots I just gave you. They were, uh, they were made for walking. Oh, they they were, and that's just what they'll do. So they make you run a little faster? Yep, and jump. Oh, cool, I'm like Mario now. Ow! Are you sure that chest doesn't hurt you? Because it teleported to me and it hurt. Uh, you might have taken a little fall damage. Oh, wait, so the boots, like, you jump so high that they hurt you? They can if you jump, like, one or two extra blocks. Okay, chest, you're scaring me now. How do you go back to being a chest. I have the best way. Oh. <laughs> so 
sorry. There you go. How did you do that? Uh, it's this thing, the Gollomancer's Bell. So speaking of that, how about we check out what golems can do? So there you go. I gave you a couple items there. Oh, okay. So right click the golem on one of the chests. And He's then so right click cute. the animation core on the golem. Okay. Ah! Oh. Now come over here and drop an item on the ground. Hmm. Take this candle. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, he's holding it! Oh my god! That's so yeah. cool! And there's about, I don't know, half a dozen, maybe a dozen different animation cores that do all kinds of different things. And what is the fill so what one? I could do is like, I could do this. Let's see. This, this. So that one is the fill one, right? Yep. So take that bell. Whoa, why is there, I, I clicked on him with the bell and now there's like a shiny circle. Yep, that's how you can tell him where to fill inventories from. So, like I put items in this chest. Dude. Yeah, sparkly, right? It's like. So like, right click on this golem here. You are not my master. Oh, yeah, you'll uh. Now I am. <laughs> there you go, you can okay. place him down. Yeah. I swear, like, I can still, I, I know for a fact that there's still a hole all the way to China over there. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> so what's the gust tornado thing you're using? Oh, that's my sword. If you hold right click, it'll also let you fly. Sword of the Zephyr. Whoa. Does it, like, run out of flying, though? It will. It's using durability to do it. Does it just have a lot of durability or something? Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Here you go. I got him going. Oh, that's cute. He's just like, I will do your menial task for you. Uh, now, oh. here's a brand new wand focus, by the way. Try Warding. that one out. Warding. Okay. Yeah. So is this one that they added in with this one? Yep. Like, okay, warding. Um... Ooh. Yeah, you try to get across that. Oh, well, you can walk across it just fine. Pig! I will ward you, pig! I don't think this warding does what I think it does. Nope. Here, I'll give you a hint. A shovel. What's a shovel a hint for? Okay. I can't! <laughs> Aww. But now I can. Pretty cool? Yeah. So it like protects your... Hey! Hey, they're friendly little guys, but they may not be the brightest. Well, I mean, they are made out of wood, so... Right, let's go down into a nice cave area. It's dark and spooky. Have you seen this guy before? Whoa! It's a telescope. Yeah. Is it? Nope. Oh. This oh. is the arcane boar. It doesn't look very boring to me. Oh, it's not boring at all, I promise. And yeah, that should be good. Okay. Oh, it's an auto miner. Yeah. That thing does it fast. It's pretty good, yeah. What's this goo like floating around it? Uh, that's um, upgrading it and making it run faster. Okay. Let's do this. Wait. I have an idea. Let me, let me let's see if this does what I think it does. Oh, I can't. So you have to have the ex the extra excavation in it. Dude! <laughs> Is that cool? Yeah! What happens if you... Oh. It won't hurt you. That looks like something that would hurt me. I'm just saying. And it goes into the chest? Yep. So what's this uh, jar of gunk about? You'll be able to make that uh, later on in the mod. It's uh, it's something. It's a little more complicated. So I don't is, think we have is time that to what see. he is that what he uses to uh, power it? Yep. Okay. It, it actually uh, in this case it just makes it run faster. Oh really? So yeah. like I I just need the um, redstone signal to it to do it. Yep. And then if I wanted to, I could put on this attachment. Dude. And What this does is it'll light it up. So you can like travel down here and keep on looking or something? Oh. 
Yep, it'll keep it well lit. All kinds of neat nifty gadgets in Thongcraft. I think you know, I'm going to like. You probably haven't even seen a quarter of the mod. Really? Yeah. But I think that's about all we have time for. Really? I mean, that's kind of like the overview of the mod, though, right? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's magic based. There's a bunch of cool gadgets and toys. And you get a cool sword that freaking makes whirlwinds at your feet. Yeah. Wait, is, are there any other? Ow! Are there any other? I'm gonna game mode myself, actually. Let's see. How about this? Before you game mode yourself, uh -huh. switch back to, to normal. Okay. I've got a present for you. These look cool. But I'm not seeing them on me. Nope. It's not actually armor. It's magical wards. Huh. See your health bar? Whoa. Yeah, I do, actually. It's, like, full of runes. Hit me. Hit you? Are yep. you sure? Yeah. I don't want to kill you, man. How about I just okay. do it on a... Can I do it on a pig? No, hit me. Whoa. Yeah. You're like a force field. Yep, that's what you get, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Yep. It's like... So you see the armor's taking damage, some durability there, the charge? Yeah. Oh, so wow, happens, those things, like, run out really quick, don't they? Yeah. When they run out, it's mm -hmm. like leather armor. But then they slowly regenerate over time. You can see it starts with your boots and then your legs and your chest and your head will eventually recharge. <laughs> What's the matter, my little golems? You can't walk here? What's the matter? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm just, like, really abusive to these poor golems. Like, their job is to serve me and they still... Are you mining out Fort once? Give it a try. What is this? That's the shovel version of that sword you have. Sho shovel of Earth Mower. Yeah. And right click. You place it back? Yeah. That's a little weird. I think I'm going to use this in the mod pack. What do you guys think? I approve. <laughs> I, I think your audience will like it. I think I like it. So if I like it, I don't even care. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that was it for Thomcraft. Direwolf is right here. You should check out his channel if you haven't heard about him. And um, thank you so much for showing me about Thomcraft. All right, guys, and this is Direwolf20 signing off. Definitely check out Caveman Films. His videos are hilarious, oh, and he's you. way more entertaining than me. So <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. You're, you're, All right, guys. You're, you're like edutainment. Hope you like the series. Do, do me a favor. Give us both uh, some feedback in the comments if you like the series, if you like the interaction, and if you want to see more videos like this. Yes, definitely. All right, guys. Take it easy. Blow the pig away! <laughs> <laughs>